Welcome once again to the headquarters, fellow Red Devils and football fans across the world. So memories from this game, that is the first leg is still haunting us. In fact, that was such an embarrassment. Six hoping goes to one. I mean, I had to turn off the television after the first half because I couldn't stand those goals. To me, that game really gave us some reality check on our defense and also the confidence of some players as well. Of course, we can say that Martial's red card was also a major factor to our crumbling defeat. Our tactics for that game was also part of the overall result. Since then, Ole devised a plan to deploy against the top side, sitting back and hitting on the bricks, not to open up the defense for another disgrace. This resulted in a number of 0-0 stalemates whenever we made the top size, and in fact, we actually improved after this result lost only two times in the league after this mighty defeat. Finally, the time has come for Ole to avenge Moreno, humble the Portuguese on his own soil. Show him that it was a mistake in the first leg. This time round, I am the boss. Winning the game will be one of the best gifts to give United fans in a season of this sort. Spurs will be hoping to sneak into the top four. Currently on six spots as a stance, United still on second. It will not be easy for both teams. Our aim right now is to avenge. Getting a sweet revenge against Spurs will be very refreshing for us. A draw from such a game isn't that bad, but for the sake of revenge and our position, we are on Ole to get us the four three points from this game. Both may want to pack the bus, I reckon. Ole will be getting flashes of the first leg results and he would want to avoid opening the game. For Marino, it's no news. Parking the bus is part of his regular tactics. Apart from Marcia and Eric, everyone else is okay. So here is my predicted 11 for United as they travel to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Henderson, the keeper, Lindelof and Maguire as CBs, Juan Bisaka and Shaw as four backs. Poba in the middle with Fred. Fernandez at 10, Mason spearhead in the attack, Dan James on the right, most likely we will need his pace on the brace and then Rashford on the left. This is what I think will be the starting 11 to face Tottenham Hotspur. A tough tie for United but I believe we will do it. Leave your thoughts or opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't done that already.